Welcome back. Get ready for some 814 fun. We're now in the kitchen with the PA Dairy Princesses. Ladies, we're going to be making a trifle today. Yes. For people that aren't familiar, what is a trifle? So it has angel food cake, then we have a delicious dairy whipped cream, and then some berries that go on top. This is amazing and mm -hmm. I think this would impress anybody for like a summer party oh, yes. and I love that you ladies have your very own cookbook it's the royal dairy recipes so yes. anybody can check this out yes exactly yes. and the neat thing about our recipe book is that all of our dairy princesses from across the whole entire state's recipes are in there and allied is one of our sponsors for that so we really appreciate all of the girls being able to just help with everything that's wonderful okay I will let you ladies so, take it away. Let's get started. <laughs> so we're first going to start with some angel food cake. So the nice thing is if you don't have time to make your own angel food cake, you can just buy some at the store, which is what we did today, just to make it nice and easy. Okay. Or you can even do just a box recipe, just whatever you think. So the first layer is just going to be your angel food cake. So you kind of just put however much you want, depending on the size of your container. Okay. And then we have this little syrup mixture, which is basically some lemon juice and then also some sugar. And you just pour that over, which helps to keep it nice and moist and just add some flavor. Beautiful. All right. So now our filling is cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, and some vanilla extract. And you're just going to whip that all together. It's best if you leave your cream cheese out. So it is room temperature, so it's easy to mix because we have tried it before when it's cold and it might be a little difficult. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where we're getting the dairy in there. Yes. yes. So milk and dairy products have 13 essential nutrients to help fuel your body and help you have a healthy balanced diet. So we want everyone to know they should get three servings of dairy every single day. That's wonderful. So you ladies, do you get more than three? Yes. yes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Always choosing the, di <laughs> the dairy. What's next, Josie? So next we have some berries just to put on top. And it's important to wash these and then pat them dry so that way it doesn't make your icing too runny because no one wants that. Yes, exactly. So we'll just and sprinkle some on there. In, in the whole theme of supporting local, you could even get those berries from a local farm here in, in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. This is a great dish for like Memorial Day, 4th of July, very festive. And then we're just going to repeat all the steps until we are out of ingredients. You're right. It has the wonderful coloring, like a, a red, white, and blue. It's a very patriotic dish. Yes. And it's super simple and very easy and delicious. I know. So we could have done the angel food cake or you can buy it. So it really depends how much time. Yep. And um, you can, I love these type of dishes because they're kind of like semi-homemade cooking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're putting in the effort. It's not store-bought 100%. Yes, it's so good. It's one of the great ways to get three servings of dairy every day and supporting our local dairy farmers. And it's just delicious. It really is. Is this a dish that you enjoy, Selena? It is. We made it for the first time at one of our work weekends, which is a time where we get to get together and help to plan and prepare for the year. And it did not last the whole weekend. <laughs> What other type of recipes does the cookbook have? It has a little bit of everything. So from breakfast um, items to lunch, dinner, desserts, appetizers, a little bit of everything. And of course, they have all dairy products in them. And if people want to get their hands on this book like so I have right now. One of the ways that you can do that is by looking for your dairy princesses at local events. All of our dairy princesses across the whole entire state have them, and they will be at those events. Yeah, this is so wonderful. And if you are, sh we of course will have the recipe yes. on our website, Studio 814. But this one is um, from Lebanon County, yep. Evelyn Troutman. So that's really neat. And everybody gets a little bit of a shout out. So we're, we're bringing the community together. Yes. So beautiful. So I'm going to, should we do a little taste? I think yes. we should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the spoons. So, and then do we chill it, ladies? You yes. can, yes. Okay, but you can also, ooh, look at this. <gasps> oh, what a beautiful trifle. Would you like some? Yes, down the line. <laughs> so yes. beautiful. Well, um, let me just take a little bit of a yes. taste. You Cheers. Can go first. Yeah, you go right ahead, Darcy. 
Uh, if people are interested in, in learning more about dairy and participating maybe in one of the competitions, how do they do it? So each county has their own program, so depending on their county, mm. they can look That's and good. try to contact them. But our padairy.org has more information as well as our Facebook and Instagram. I feel like I just got those 13 essential nutrients, <laughs> so I'm good. You're good Lady. for the day. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. We love having you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.